Next speaker is Mr. Ed Sove. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Ed Sof. I live at 1620 Victoria Drive in Denton. There are some questions about this ordinance and its disclosure requirements, questions that are not addressed in the backup materials of this agenda, nor were they just addressed by the gentleman from Beezer Homes. How well prepared is the city for a worst case scenario gas well accident? How well prepared will the homeowners be in Mr. Shelton's and Beezer Homes development. Is what happened in the early morning of April 19th near the airport and homes an indication of the city's preparedness and of Eagle Ridge's competence? A blowout on that date at an Eagle Ridge well erupted for almost 10 hours before the Denton police and fire departments arrived and evacuated nearby homes and closed the airport. Residents and businesses in the area never received a code red notification of the danger. This is from a newspaper account in the Denton Record Chronicle. Quote, blowouts, while uncommon and the results of various factors, come with great risks. In December 2005, an operator lost control of a Barnett Shale gas well being drilled near Brad in Palo Pinto County. The ensuing explosion blew a 750 foot wide crater in the ground and the fire burned uncontrollably for several days. Workers had already left the site when trouble began hours before, but one crew member unfortunately was injured when the flames engulfed his truck as he sat nearby." Unquote. Now really, will a 30 foot wide landscape buffer as called for in this ordinance, or a six-foot concrete wall around a school protect people and property in a scenario like that? Would that buffer have protected the residents of West Texas, where the lack of appropriate response protocols resulted in the deaths of first responders? Is the city of Denton prepared for a blowout, an explosion, or a massive release of toxic chemicals in the midst of a densely populated housing development in an elementary school filled with children? These risks are not theoretical. They are real dangers. They've already happened. Will prospective home buyers be made aware of them and what to do if a catastrophic accident occurs? Will school officials have appropriate procedures in place? It's no secret that Eagle Ridge cannot be trusted to put our city's safety first. They're writing the rules. In conclusion, is it responsible to pass an ordinance that lacks any realistic precautionary measures to protect the public health and safety? <clears throat> Pardon me. Is this the standard to be set for future developments in Denton where gas wells and human habitations are in dangerous proximity. What's it going to be? Is it going to be a community of gas wells or a community of people, homes, and schools? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Schell. Next.